this is not financial advice. I just hope you bought your oven mitts, baby, because it's about to get hot in the kitchen. Now don't invest in the companies that you don't understand and don't believe in, because if they dip, you're not gonna buy the dip, and then you're gonna sell low and be right back here crying to me, and I'm not having that. So if you can't handle the heat of these hot stocks, stay out of the kitchen and consider investing in the index funds. And hit that like button and show your boy some love. Hit that notification bell to stay tuned and subscribe to the channel. And the first banger on the list is the one, the only Dogecoin. Take a simple D O G E. And at the time of this recording, it's 58 cents a coin. Keep in mind, it fell down from about 75 cents all the way back down to 40 cents. But guess what? I hit the Discord up and I told you when it was 40 cents, oh yeah, it's time to load up, baby. And if you're trying to roll with the winners and get in low, hit that Discord link in the top comment. Come and join the family, baby. We're going to welcome you with open arms. And if you're trying to get some free Bitcoin up to $250, hit that BlockFi link in the top comment, baby. We moving some crypto over there, and we earning some interest on it, baby. Now, let's talk about it. What's going on with Dogecoin that's kind of bringing the price down? I want you to pay attention to how these mainstream media outlets move and the language that they use that scares uninformed investors away. Now, pay attention to this. Rolling Stone, they recently responded to the SNL thing, the Saturday Night Live event with Elon Musk. Watch how they reported on it. It says this, SNL, Elon Musk admits Dogecoin is a hustle on a weekend update. Keep in mind, imagine that you're just a regular person who's investing into Dogecoin. You do no research and then you see something like this. It's a hustle. Oh, I don't want to get tricked out of my money. No, what you're doing is you actually getting tricked out of your money right now because you're getting forced to buy it at 75 cents and then you're selling it at 40 cents. Now, let's think about this. These large institutions, these large media outlets, all they do is try to scare you out of what you have that's valuable so then they could buy it low and then you got to buy it back in when it's over a dollar, when it's over two dollars. I'm telling you that they want you to die broke. I tell you this every single time. Now, let's get it. What are the big dogs doing? The big dogs is doing this. Gemini Exchange, which is one of the largest crypto exchanges in the world, they are now offering interest on your Dogecoin. You get up to 2.5, 2.25% APY on your Dogecoin if it was on Gemini. Now, the big dogs, they already see what time it is with Dogecoin, and they're saying, you know what? We need to bring the Dogecoin over here and have people buying it from us. Now, what are the price targets on Dogecoin? I want you to listen close. Crypto analysts on CoinPriceForecast.com, they said this. They said that they see Dogecoin not hitting one dollar they see it hitting two dollars by the end of 2021 then they said i got it in blue for you remember i color code these just for you now they say by 2022 it's going to be five dollars and then they say it's going to be ten dollars by 2024 remember if it hit any of these numbers it's not going to go straight there what's going to happen is it's going to take you on a roller coaster but the only people who get hurt on a roller coaster are those who jump off too soon i'm telling you imagine all of the people that bought in at 75 cents and then jumped out at 40 cents no this is why us on a discord we already know what time it is we said oh no it hit 40 cents this is time to buy now let's keep talking about it what is the next banger on the list the next oh and before we even get there how we playing this again strike days if you've been following the play when it came down guess what you would have money to bow load up baby now you strike on a specific day you pick whatever day maybe you get paid on friday you already know how it go you get paid on friday then you consider put 50 dollars on it every time you get paid you do your own math, you pick your own strike days. Now, the next banger on the list is ChargePoint, ticker symbol C-H-P-T. Now, ChargePoint is currently basically flat on a day. On the week, it's down 10%. So you know that back fin should be ready to hit the top of the water. It's time to strike. Now, on the year, they're up 131%. But what's going on with ChargePoint? I want you to see this. Not too long ago, ChargePoint and the National Association of Truck Stop Owners, they pledged to deploy $1 billion to buy and to equip the nation with charging infrastructure for a total of 4,000 traveling or travel plazas and fuel stops. So they're going to put them at these travel plazas and fuel stops. Now, why is this important? Because on that same exact day that they said they was going to put a billion dollars to make those 4,000 stations at these travel plazas and fuel stops, that same exact day, U.S. representatives, they made this, an Electric Freedom Act, which is supposed to give grants and subsidies and tax breaks and all of these other things to inf or industries or companies that are trying to make EVs 
things happen and charging stations happen. So if I skipped up, I messed up a little bit, but you already know I keep it real, I keep it raw, baby. Let's keep it going. Now, what they're trying to do is this. They're trying to boost EV charger access to low income communities. Now, why is that important? Because they said, ChargePoint said they're gonna spend a billion dollars to build up all of this EV infrastructure, but guess what? Now that billion dollars is gonna go even further. Imagine this, imagine that you said you're gonna spend a dollar on something, and then the government says, okay, every dollar you spend on it, I'm gonna put a quarter on it. So then they're gonna say, oh, my billion dollars is now gonna go even further than it was before. That's absolutely huge for the business. So now, what are the big dogs doing? They doing this, they doing this. On April 19th, they bought $3.1 million worth of this at $22.50. And then, not too long before that, they did this, $23.60, they picked up 3.1 again, 3.1 million. So what they're saying is they think these levels are sufficient to buy. The billionaires, the big dogs, they know things that you and I may never be privy to. However, they know that we can see what price they're buying at. And you know what? We like to buy it even lower than them because they start to give support levels and we could get in lower. So what are the price targets on this? The price targets on ChargePoint are as follows. I know this is kind of hard to see, so I zoom in for some of you. Now, if you see this, it says it's gonna go up on a minimum to $28 a share. Keep in mind, it's under that. And the analysts are saying at a minimum, it's gonna go to $28 a share, which will bring you up 23%. And also keep in mind, the average return on the stock market is 10%. So even on the minimum, analysts are saying this is gonna beat the stock market average. Now, on the median, they saying it's going to $39. Now, that's 74%. And then on the high, they say it's going to 49%. Why is that important? Because we already saw this thing go up all the way over the $40 mark, so we know it could get back there again. Now, I want you to see this. This last three months, the floor has been about $20. That has been the floor. So how are we gonna play this? We're gonna play it with strike price, AKA if I see a price I like, I strike. And if I don't, there will always be another play, baby. Now, the first strike price is literally right now. Right now, bow. And then the next strike price is gonna be $20. I see that, bow, bow. And then the last strike price after that is gonna be $18. If you see it pull back to 18, but you may never see it pull back to 18, but you wanna be prepared, not surprised. What are the five Ps? Proper preparation prevents poor performance. Say it with me again. Proper preparation prevents poor performance. You wanna be prepared, not surprised. We load up on the strike price, and then we ride the wave straight to the promised land, baby. I'll see you there. Now, what is the next banger on the list? Oh, and we gonna hold on to this one for at least three years, preferably as long as we hold on to the rest of our EV plays, Tesla, Neo. But the next banger on the list is Square, ticker symbol S, Q. Now remember, when you see these stocks and you say, oh man, $200, that's a big stock, I can't afford that, you could always buy a fractional share of these plays. If you put in $10 and then Square go up 10% or go up 100%, guess what? Your $10 will go up 10% or 100%. It's all about the percent that it go up. It's not so much about if you got a whole share or not. So now, it's currently $233, but let's talk about what's going on with them recently. Square, just recently, they announced their revenue and their earnings and they knocked it way out of the park and Square gets a Bitcoin boost with revenue up 266% according to CNBC. Now, let's look at some of the details. They expected to get 16 cents per share, but actually they knocked it at the park and got 41 cents per share. And then they expected to get $3.36 billion, knocked that out of the park and got $5 billion. Now, they beat that expectation by over a billion dollars. That's a lot of money to beat the expectation by. So now, let's look at some more of the details. It says that the gross profit is up year over year, 79%. This company almost doubled their profits in a year. Now, this is the same company that owns Cash App. How is Cash App doing? They are doing excellently. Now, they got 171% up year over year. And their Bitcoin revenue is up 11 times since this time last year. This company is an absolute banger. The big dogs know that and the big dogs is loading up. That's why they picked up 100,000 shares of this and they spent $22 million when this was $229. Make sure that you consider loading up on Square. Square is a banger. And then they spent six, they picked up 600,000 and they spent $150 million on one play. 
imagine picking that up that's absolutely crazy so now what i want you to do hit that like button come join the discord with us i love y'all take care